it. Can you tell us your name and what do you do? I'm uh, Kevin Adams. I'm the senior minister at First Christian Church in Oklahoma City. Okay. And you mean to do this trip, uh, December Turkey trip, and uh, what was your impression about Turkey and Turkish people before this trip? We know that we have been in Turkey before. Right. But how can you describe them? Well, when I was in Turkey before, I, I felt very welcomed. I felt uh, felt very good, uh, very hospitable. The Turkish people were very hospitable, and I enjoyed Turkey. I loved the people, loved the food, greatly, uh, and of course, um, you know, many historical sites and beautiful countryside. I just dearly loved it. So to have the opportunity to come back in December this last year was, uh, I just, uh, of course I would. <laughs> it was uh, just a great opportunity and I was glad to go back and see even more of Turkey to uh, uh, enjoy the Turkish people and uh, enjoy more of the Turkish food. Okay. Did you hesitate to go because the last time you had, you were, you were in Turkey for, you said, 1982, mm -hmm. three, and so many things happened uh, around Middle Eastern. Mm -hmm. Did you hesitate to, to go this time? No, I did not. Uh, I have always felt safe in Turkey. Uh, I know that um, you're getting, you know, you're further, closer to the Middle East and uh, know of uh, the news and reports and some of the tensions and troubles there uh, and so you remember you know that and that's in the back of your mind but um, I have always felt very safe in Turkey um, I would uh, go by myself uh, through the countryside and not have any concerns mm -hmm. so what was your family's or reaction today? oh um, my family was not worried either mm -hmm. um, the friends were not, uh, that I know of, worried. Uh, they knew that I liked Turkey and I was very much looking forward to the trip. Mm -hmm. So they, they were happy for me. Okay. What struck you most? What striked me the most? Well, from 19, uh, when I was there in 1982-83, and particularly in the southeastern portion of Turkey, mm -hmm. It was, uh, the standard of living was not as high and uh, technology was not as, uh, uh, was not as evident in 1982. Mm -hmm. When I went back there this year, I was amazed at how many new um, and modern conveniences, just Turkey seemed more, um, advanced, quite a bit more advanced. In fact, some places I saw it was more advanced than the United States and that was, uh, that was just a, a delight to see. Um, but uh, I, I think it continued to see the Turkish people as being very hospitable. Um, still. Hmm? They are still hospitable. Yes. You saw the cities like Istanbul, Urfa, and other cities, and you saw all the history and culture, and many people from other cultures and religions live in Turkey mm -hmm. and live for centuries actually in peace. Right. And how did it uh, affect your views toward peace in the world? Did you say, okay? No, it can't work. Or... Well, I, I did not know that much about the Gulen movement prior to, uh, and there's still much more to, to know and understand about that. But what I have read and what I understand, I'm certainly more positive about uh, the possibilities, certainly uh, for us to sit down and uh, talk about uh, our differing views uh, with respect for one another, our different cultures, our different religions, I think, is a positive thing. Um, 
I uh, have always felt that Turkey was a good blend of East and West and um, you see it work there mm -hmm. uh, so I think you can't help but be positive about that kind of uh, attitudes being able to uh, work anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just with uh, new hopes or new projects about interfaith dialogue? Yes, um, because I did not know that much about the Golan movement, I'm intrigued more to uh, learn more about the movement to see how we can uh, facilitate that kind of dialogue, talking, uh, looking at our differences and similarities and see how we can continue to live together uh, peaceably in God's world. Mm -hmm. So you know about Gulen before you went to this trip, right? Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, how can you um, interpret his uh, vision, his you know, goal in this movement? I, I, I probably don't know enough yet about it, um, and that's why I want to find out more. Uh, I appreciate receiving some of the books uh, that uh, Fethullah Gulen has authored uh, on the trip and I intend to read those books so that I can find out more, learn more, understand more and I suspect talk more with uh, people about the movement. You told us, right, you visited the schools? Mm -hmm. and yes. And other educational mm -hmm. institutes. I was impressed with those. Yeah, what do you think about them? Oh, they were uh, very good. I, I thought it was it was intriguing that uh, the movement uh, supports these schools, yet does not um, indoctrinate the schools with uh, religious or even uh, really much of the views of Gulen. But uh, through the teacher's sacrificial teaching that they sacrifice their time in trying to help the students excel beyond uh, what they would normally do in a, in a regular public school, that they are committed to uh, helping their students learn and be, um, be good contributors to the society in Turkey and uh, the world. And so we did see uh, evidence that that is working. Many of the students had excelled well in the, uh, I believe, some of the testings in Turkey and had won awards. The schools were very finely, um, you know, they were very modern, very clean, uh, very up to date. Um, they were impressive, yes. The main reason that they are so successful. Because they are really successful in Turkey, as you said, mm -hmm. in the, we have some uh, nation-based mm -hmm. uh, exams. They are really good at that and also uh, in the world too. Why do you think is the main reason for that? Well, here again, I think from what I understand, it's the commitment of the teachers to the students. Um, I. I think also there is, from what I understand, a strong commitment to the sciences, mathematics and science. Um, and uh, that's an important area in our world today. Also, you know, other areas are important too, languages and arts. Uh, but um, in our modern society, I suppose, in some respects, math and sciences are particularly important. But the primary thing that I could see in talking with the educators in the schools was the commitment of the teachers. Mm 